looked at first. It happened in our store. So you guys are right. They got to look at us. It happened inside our store. They got to rule us out. Oh, they overlooked them folks over there. They didn't overlook shit. Everybody was a suspect until they ruled them out. That's facts. That's facts. So we were suspects in the beginning when all this started. They got to rule us out. And they did that. They did that. They ruled us out. I got an iPhone. I know they went through my shit. So, um, yeah, that was already taken care of, bro. I'm pretty sure they looked through uh, Dow's records because y'all talking about he called the shop. I'm pretty sure they looked that up. They looked through his record. They got to. This man was just murdered, yo. Big ups to Dolph, man. You know, forever long live Dolph. Fuck you talking about. That man was amazing. Humble dude. And he came back to Memphis and showed us love. And I guess it's unfortunate for us because y'all looking at it like he showed y'all love. And we ain't y'all ain't but a small leg cookie shop. So because he wasn't one of those type of brothers that uh, enjoyed uh, $2,600 meals every day and shit, you know, y'all thinking because he went and wanted to get three chocolate chip cookies, that that's, that's, that's weird because he didn't like to throw his money to expensive ass restaurants and shit. Man, Dolph liked what he liked. He was a regular nigga. He moved differently. He didn't move like everybody else with 20 big ass army dudes around him. He was a good dude, but when he came back to his hood, it was, shit, it was known. It, he was in his hood, period. He was comfortable. Y'all want to make it more than what it is, and it's not. And it's stupid as fuck, bruh. Oh, my God. That man was just a, he was a humble brother, and he practiced what my dad practiced, which was generational wealth. He was trying to set shit up for his family. He was trying, he was doing it the right way. Now, y'all take out motherfuckers that's doing it the right way. What kind of shit is that? That's how I look at that. Because he was doing it the right way. But as far as I'm concerned, all the death threats and all the, the wack ass comments and everything um, is basically coming from the out of town folks that don't know shit about Memphis. Never been in Memphis, never stepped a foot in Memphis, never seen Makitas, don't know nothing about my family. Because when Memphis, uh, as far as Memphis is concerned, the, the, not the, I mean, my generation and my dad's, my parents' generation, you know, folks of our age. And maybe some folks a little bit younger than us, maybe a few of them a little bit younger. But as far as they are concerned, we had nothing to do with it. They know, they know better than that. They know better than that. They know we, man, what, what the fuck? See what I'm saying? Y'all, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all got to really start thinking better than this. Please start thinking better than this. And, um, is I don't know if they was about to kill. We don't know where they was about to kill, dog. We don't know. You don't know. See, that's what I'm saying. Stop speculating and just let the police handle their business. Let them do this. And if a uh, straight job is really finna turn itself in, good. I don't, I don't believe I don't believe shit to shit happens. That's me. So if he really finna turn himself in Monday, that's that's good. I, I hope so. So he can clear this shit up. He need to clear this shit up ASAP. You know, uh, cause all this shit, man. Hey, right now they looking for you, bro. Uh, you need to hey, if you claim that you innocent, then I hope you got some proof to that. Cause we got hours. Cause them cameras was rolling, baby. Cameras was rolling all over the place. We got inside in the kitchen, shit, by the by the uh, the counter and it, all the cameras was working perfect. Cameras were working perfect. So, you know, I hate my generation. My younger generation is listening to you guys. I hate the fact that they are subjected to listening to you dumbass folks. I hate that we don't have uh, stronger leaders for our younger generation. I really, really do. I hate that we do not have better leaders for our stronger, for our younger generation. Because they listening to y'all. And it's, it's heartbreaking. Because we, they, they are responsible for making this world better. We can't do it anymore. We, we got to put it in their hands. We're giving them the keys. We're giving them the keys. And they listening to y'all asses. Mine's being corrupt like a motherfucker. And I just can't stand it. It's... 
man, I can't, I can't stand it. But like I said, I said what I said. Uh, Red TV, I was going to let you slide, bro. I mean, you disrespected my brother the first time, you know, with quote unquote, you going to tell everybody it was an interview. That's a lie. You attacked my brother. You got the uh, cussing my brother out. You baited him in. You thought you could bait me in. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't talk to rats. I don't talk to uh, nothing ass niggas that ain't got nothing to do with their time but to sit in front of a computer all day and Photoshop shit and make shit up. Like, I, but you remember, you remember our messages, bro. You remember our messages. I still got them bitches too. Even after you blocked me. Tell people why you blocked me. Because you know I'm a different bitch. I'm different. I'm not what you normally deal with. See, everybody, all y'all folks, all y'all bloggers thought that y'all can really bait me in. Y'all even send some of y'all minions. Ooh, you should really go on Red TV. He talking about you. How you know he talking about me if you don't listen to Red TV? Paperwork pussy, same thing. Ooh, you should go on his page, man. He really talking about you. Why? So y'all can make more money off me? Nah, I'm straight. Because if, if I pop up on your shit, because everybody want to see what I got to say. And everybody want to, uh, I guess, discredit what I say. Y'all, I don't know what it is about y'all. I still don't understand the media. I've been so naive to this shit, y'all. I'm, I'm going to be the first to admit it. I've been real naive to how social media works, how YouTube works, how this blog and shit works. But I've been learning. Uh, when this started, all this shit started, that's when I learned. You know, like I said, I'm 38 years old. I'm not with all this blog and shit. But y'all done put me in this. This is y'all that's doing this shit. You know, y'all, why she still showing her face? What she is? Stop talking. Like I said, stop talking about my family. I go away. I disappear. I dis but y'all keep putting my face everywhere. Y'all the one doing this shit. Or she doing it for clout. What the fuck for? I don't really have to do anything but sit back and let y'all do it. Honestly, if it's for clout, I don't have to say shit else. Y'all keep posting my picture up everywhere. Everywhere. And then y'all got this wet ass topic underneath it. It's y'all fault that I keep popping up. Stop talking about me. I disappear. How about that? Don't talk about me no more. I'll go away. How about that? Does that make sense? I swear I'll go away. I'll go back to living my regular life like I was at first before y'all motherfuckers put me in the midst of shit. Y'all put me in the midst of this. This is y'all fault. Y'all want me to this. I'm sick of looking at her face. Well, shit. Don't click on it. Y'all clicking on these folks' um lives and stuff and all this bullshit. Y'all clicking on this shit. Y'all sick of seeing my face. Y'all I'm sick of seeing Makita's. Tell y'all dumbass bloggers to stop talking about us. We and we'll go away. We were living normal lives in the beginning. It was y'all fault. Why would I be worried about marshals, bruh? No, I'm not worried about anybody. I'm not worried about the law at all. I'm not worried about the law at all. Why? We're innocent. Why would I worry about the law? They know we're innocent. We've been nothing but cooperative with the law. Nothing but cooperative with the law. She straight drop ass is the one on the run, or he left, or whatever he did. We've been in Memphis this whole time. So ask yourself that question. Since y'all say we guilty, without a shadow of a doubt, we guilty. If we were guilty, because we, I mean, our job is, uh, Makita's is right up the street from uh, the police department. We're two, we're two streets over from 201 Popular. So if we were guilty, they know where we are. We haven't shut shit down and flew to Africa or no shit like that or, or Italy or hiding in another city and state. We right here in plain sight. Wouldn't they have gotten us by now? Y'all better pay attention and stop listening to these stupid ass bloggers. Y'all keep it, but it's okay. I can't, you know what? I don't think y'all ever gonna stop listening because y'all like all this gossip. Y'all like for motherfuckers to be in the midst of shit, whether it's real or fake. Y'all love that shit. 
and y'all think this is a game, but it's not a game. This is real life, okay? Why it took who so long to get there? So y'all really gonna ask me questions about this shit yet again. Who told y'all how long it took the police to get there? Who told you that? Because if, if you name a blogger that told you that, we gonna have a problem. Did the police tell you how long it took for them to get there? Who told you how long it took for them to get there? Who told you that? Now, make sure it's not a blogger now. Make sure you tell me it's uh, the police department told y'all we arrived on the scene uh, uh, 20, 30 minutes later after the incident happened. Because they did make a statement now. They made a statement. So, did the statement st uh, say how long it took for them to get there? Because the police are right up the street. All we do, I mean, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, we had, a, a, for the last time, if you listen to Skull interview, go back and listen to Skull interview. I told, I said this, because everybody, like that lady was saying the other day, uh, nobody didn't call the police. That's a lie. That's a lie. Nobody didn't call the police. That's a lie. The people was out there recording and I was there. So if the police, the people that was out there recording, it was there. Did you, didn't you see that one police car speed up, sped up, and he blocked everybody off that was recording? Matter of fact, if I looked at it right, some of y'all got mad that he blocked y'all. Y'all wanted to record. See, and that's a problem with you. That's a problem with you too. Um, is your name Miss Nicole? That's a problem because instead of you trying to call the police or instead of you making a, a extra call because i know they said they got a lot of 911 calls that day my cousin pushed the emergency button and it was a 911 call by uh one of my employees but instead of you calling 911 yourself or you trying to do the right thing you pulled out your phone and started recording so what does that make you don't worry i'll wait Okay, you can come back and answer that. Make sure you get the right answer out there. And where were you when the incident happened? I was uh, downtown working, and I just when I got a call. So why did I know so much? Because I talked to everybody that was there. Next question. See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all, I'm telling you. Oh, Lord Jesus. that Y'all y'all better start making shit make sense to y'all. I know y'all got common sense. I know everybody on here got common sense. I'm not going to call nobody stupid. Everybody on this junk got common sense. Everybody on this junk got common sense. If y'all really think we had something to do with this, do you have the same last name? No, my last name is Winton. My last name is Winton. W-I-N-T-O-N. -E we did not do anything to Dolph. My last name is Winton. W-I-N-T-O-N. And that's the problem, though, Green. They're going to keep talking. They're going to keep throwing my uh, my uh, dad's. Hold on, uh, Bad. Is your name Baddy? My, my sister didn't say that. My sister didn't say that. The news said my sister said that. Never came out of mouth. So go back and look at that interview. Now, my sister said out her mouth. Because it's the same thing that that Eve girl tried to say. That uh, my mom said that, that Dolph called uh, ahead. Same shit didn't happen. Go back and look at that interview and see if my sister said, yeah, my dad was there. And my dad said, um, my dad was there and he rung up Dolph, uh, three cookies and ice cream. My sister, it never came out my sister mouth. Not one time. And that's another thing that I learned that made me so naive to the fact. Why do you have a PPP loan? I don't have a PPP loan. See, again, stop. Woo -wee. Y'all better see you see what I'm saying? Y'all better stop listening to these folks. I never got a PVP loan. I never got one. I never ever ever got a PPP loan. Never. No. If you keep uh, if you keep explaining yourself, you guilty. it. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. I keep explaining to myself, I'm kind of tired of doing it, but if y'all, I mean, y'all just keep my family name out your mouth. Why do you post strawberry cookies the day before Dolph died? What? 
see again man if y'all go you can go on my facebook page and because i was the one that made the strawberry cookies up i the first i was the first person that told my parents to bring strawberry cookies on the menu that was years ago go look go look it back up matter of fact you ain't even gotta look it back up because i'm gonna go find that post and i'm gonna put it on instagram i'm gonna show y'all exactly when the lemon and the strawberry will put on the menu because it's time stamp it's a date on it it's a date on it blue suit i've never been a black youngsters video never been a black youngsters video never been on i've never been nope sorry wasn't me it's funny how people look like other people i guess where was your cousin and new important then why your boy stay up boy First of all, Trigger Trey, my artist was not there. And uh what you say where my my brother didn't say that that Trigger Trey was there. That's a lie. See, y'all keep lit. Who you listen to? Red you listen to Red TV or Most Hated Pussy. It's one of them. Because those are the only ones that's been making up the most lies about my family. We was thinking about making those strawberry cookies because they talking so much shit about them. Facts. I ain't gonna lie, we're gonna laugh in their fucking face. You never with now no one trick or train Atlanta that freckle face girl is. What I, I don't understand what that got to do with what happened to Dolph. I'm lost. I'm lost. What does that have to do with Dolph being murdered? I'm lost. I'm lost. It did happen in the inside because Dolph was in the inside and the people pulled up outside and shot him while he was standing inside. Trey was washing his clothes and went, what, what? You don't sound, um, I, I, you confusing the crap out of me. Uh, and that, that, that black youngster video, pull it up. Let me see it. Tag yourself in it. I'm not explaining to myself. I'm, I'm stating facts. I'm, I'm stating facts. Appreciate that Cadillac. What happened to the past? Tell me out, tell me out, uh, that is not a past. You talking about that is? He did not say uh, that his cousin and uh, my alleged boyfriend was there. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. He was yelling. He was cussing the shit out of Rat TV, though. He was making that nigga look dumb as hell. Rat TV, he didn't know what to say. He kept doing it. Kept doing that shit. Rat TV kept losing. And he was losing his, his audience because he didn't, he didn't know what he was doing. Uh, top glass was, uh, it was bullet holes in the top glass, sir. Uh, maybe, uh, once everything, once all the boards come down or when we go back in there, when we officially have to go back in there and, um, take care of everything, like I told everybody else on school, uh, live, I, I'm going to record everything. I'm going to record as soon as I step outside my car door so nobody won't say I didn't fuck with nothing or anything like that. Cause that's what everybody calls y'all tampering with evidence, all this bullshit y'all saying. Uh, I am a Dallas Cowboy fan. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ever since I was a kid, I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure I record from start to finish. The top window did have bullet holes in it. Yes, it did. 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 Go, go, uh, go show me that, uh, Batty, whatever your name is. Put it in my inbox. Let me see it. Cause I can promise you he didn't say that shit. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. But I know Red TV was trying to say that. So you trying to say that that Trick Trey was there? He was there too. He was there too. Oh, he was there too. He kept trying to throw that. And my brother was trying. My brother was catching every time he tried to lie. I remember that. I remember that. From those pals of weed. No, he was not. See, let me just stop talking. Don't, I'm not gonna answer any more questions because all y'all questions are stupid as fuck. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Everybody on here that's asking me all these dumb ass questions that y'all done got from other bloggers that were never there, that didn't see anything, didn't see anything. Y'all, y'all just don't sound right. Y'all don't sound right. I'm sorry. Y'all just don't sound right. I'm sorry. Y'all don't sound right at all. Y'all don't sound right at all. I, you right, Mr. Little, because they don't, they sound stupid as hell. Everybody on here sounds stupid as fuck. And y'all still, that's why I'm going, you know what? I'm just going to go back to what I was saying. I'm going to go back. No, you didn't. You didn't get shit from the news. If it, if you talking about my sister saying anything like that. Matter of fact, matter of, man, I wish I could go to my sister's house right now. 
you know, I wish I could, but I, you know what, I plan on, I'm, I'm, a, I got some for that. I got some for that. So y'all saying my sister said that, um, if my dad was there and he rung up dog three cookies and ice cream, right? I got some for that. I got some for that. Cause see, I like to prove people wrong. I'm gonna prove all y'all motherfuckers wrong. I like to prove people wrong so y'all can look stupid as fuck and keep your fucking mouth closed. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want everybody to look stupid as hell and keep their mouth closed. That's exactly what I want. That's what I want. And that's what I'm going to give y'all. I'm Every time y'all throw me some bullshit y'all think y'all done heard, I'm going to make you look stupid as fuck. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you look stupid as fuck. How about that? So, just wait on it. But what I really just wanted to say is that I really hate that all of this shit is really... Um, causing our younger generation to go through it. It's causing our younger generation to go through it because you guys are feeding them nothing but lies, and you got the you you took over their brains. And I really hate that shit. I really hate that shit. Um, I hate that they are being persuaded by y'all. I hate that they are looking up to y'all for answers. Like it's really making me sick to my stomach that all they have is you know sick bastards like y'all you know, to look up to, and, you know, the people that they should look up to, like, quote-unquote, I ain't gonna say that Dolph has been 100% uh, uh, on the right side of the law, but at least now he was showing y'all how everything's supposed to be done, and nigga was handling business, he was taking care of his family, he was doing it the right way, he had his own label, he was making sure his people ate, He, you know, all the shit I heard at that memorial, he was really, he was touching folks all over the world, and y'all got rid of that dude. And that just fucks me up. That they don't make me feel good at all because that's somebody he could have looked up. They could have looked up to instead of looking up to y'all whack ass folks. You know you shouldn't. And you know what? Honestly, uh, so press for a minute. I thought to believe the news too. I thought that the news give y'all the real and finding out that they don't that they do the same shit that YouTube do for ratings. That that really fucked me up. That fucked me up. I don't know who guys he is. See, that's again. Y'all keep trying to put me in shit about this murder, and I don't know who that is. But anyway, I just want, I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm ready to get rid of all the bloggers. That's my job. My, I'm making it my duty. I'm making it my duty right now. Every person that has said anything ill will against me and my family and has caused my family to receive death threats, to receive, um, uh, these bullshit ass calls, um, to comfort, trying to comfort me over the internet. It's called cyberbullying, by the way, because you're never going to see, you're never going to stand toe to toe with me. You're never going to go on my face and talk shit to me ever. But, you know, you feel like you got to hide behind media and stuff like that, like you've been doing. Um, I can promise you this. I can promise you this. Y'all won't have those blogs to look at anymore. So y'all gonna have to probably pick up a book or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you probably have to pick up a book, start reading, or you probably gonna have to, uh, start getting your knowledge back up a different way. What's up, queen? Gonna start uh, getting your knowledge uh, back up a different way. Because once I take all these blogs with all these fake ass conspiracies and shit, I can guarantee you, you're going to need something else to do with your life, okay? Um, we'll be back on DoorDash. Uh, we're working on it right now. I got to set everything back up. I got to set everything back up. Oh, most hated, most hated blogger, he going to be he in there too. That's why y'all comes, and that's the reason why, you know what y'all should do? Y'all should really lose, use common sense. That's the reason why they keep talking shit about us. Because they threatened by me because they know I'm not coming on their show. Why? Why would I do that? To give y'all, make y'all more money? Give y'all more views? I never do that. No. Y'all can suck my dick. That's what y'all can do. How about that? How about that? So, I just want to take y'all pages now. I want to prove my point. Y'all don't think I can do it? Cause I, I know, I know Red TV. I heard, you know, somebody came and told me what you said. I heard you was talking about, you know, she thought she had me. Y'all thought I disappeared and, and all that other kind of stuff. Why am I so aggressive? (laughs) 
bruh, or ma'am, or whoever you are, because you ain't got no picture. Y'all accusing us of murder. Who would be aggressive? Man, y'all talking shit about my family. Why wouldn't I be mad? What is wrong? <laughs> Stop it. Um. Anyway, I, I just came on here to safely say, because I know y'all go... I know y'all gonna uh, return, give this information to uh, most hated bitch, paperwork pussy, and red TV. Um, I can promise you, I'm coming for your pages. Y'all, y'all think I'm not? Y'all think I'm just once everything blows over and they get the real killers and they got everything from start to finish and they go on here and they tell y'all what happened. The end. We got everybody. We gonna prosecute, uh, keep them to the fullest extent of the law. And it and it shows y'all once again that Makita's, Raven, Maurice, Pamela, none of us have nothing to do with it. I'm still not gonna stop. I'm still gonna go through with my legal proceedings and I'm still gonna take y'all pages. I'm still gonna do it. So, uh, boy, you stories of lie, y'all going to lie. Are you going to lie on Facebook as well? Probably not. Probably not. I'm still just saying it. You don't have, but see, I'm still just saying from all the evidence y'all look good. What evidence? What evidence? The evidence that you're seeing on the blogs? The evidence that you're seeing on the blogs? I And I'm going on vacation. Hopefully my parents will let me. Hopefully my parents will let me. Hopefully my parents will let me. They'll, hopefully they'll let me go on vacation after all this is over because I'm, I'm tired of this. Now, MA, uh, most hated bitch, I'm a strike. He, he third.